Hey, this is Nate from ClayTrader.com. In this video, we're going to go through another quick tutorial on how to use a Thinkorswim platform. Today, we're actually going to take a look at the Trade tab. Uh, as you can see right here, if my tools work for me, uh, the Trade tab we got right up here. Uh, this is actually where you're going to do probably most of your research as to uh, current price levels and actually executing trades. Uh, so let's just jump right in there and take a look at it. Um, there's several different uh, segments and such in this tab. For now, we're just gonna look at the all products tab. Uh, maybe dive into some of these other ones later, but for now, we're just gonna look at all products. And the first step we gotta do here is to enter in our uh, ticker symbol we're gonna take a look at today. So let's just go ahead and do that. Let's just look at Apple, pretty common one here. Uh, and you can see a lot of these different sections actually pop up and uh, populate themselves for us already. I'm just going to go ahead and collapse them all so we can just go through a quick overview of what they all are. Um, first off, we have the underlying here. That's basically just the, the price of the actual underlining or the actual stock. Um, and then the trade grid is going to give us more details regarding um, the stock and what it's doing and, and so forth. And then after that, the rest of these are all going to be options or futures type uh, tools that we may that we may use. So we'll, we'll quick, quick touch on those as well. So uh, let's jump right into the underlying uh, stock here, and I'll actually expand both of these. So you can see basically the last price, the net change on the day, the bid, the ask, um, volume, open, high, low, all this kind of fun stuff. I mean, pretty much any details you'd want to know about the the stock in general um, to trade it. And then this actually works really well in function with the trade grid. So I'll go ahead and expand this. And here you can actually change what each of these boxes are. Right now they're all set to level twos. Um, so you can compare different level twos. You can put charts in here. You can do any of that kind of stuff. Um, there's a couple way to pull up a chart in here. So you can basically right click or just click in here and just type in Apple uh, and that'll populate it. Or you can actually go up here and just right click and say more information on Apple. And this will actually let you populate any one of these sections. Um, right now we want to look at the trade grid and we want to insert this in the very first box. So if we just click that, you can see right here that the Apple level twos pop up here. Um, you can see where the bid and the ask and that kind of fun stuff is at. So, um, and you can do the same thing with any of the other ones. So let me add, so let's say more information, quick grid, and we'll go to the second one here. And let's actually change what this chart is. Um, to do that, you're gonna click this little tiny, I don't know if you can even see that, but that, there's a little tiny circle here right next to the actual ticker symbol. So if we click that, it's going to let us change the gadget here. And we can change it to news, we can change it to a chart, to an active trader, time series, Paris trading, any of that kind of fun stuff. So let's just trade it to a chart here. Um, give me some notifications here. So now you can see we actually have a very small uh, Apple uh, daily chart here. Nothing too spectacular. So let's add one more chart over here. Uh, defaults to level two, but we're gonna go down and go to gadget here and let's change it to uh, an active trader window. Um, so this will give us a, another view of what the level twos look like um, and actually let you buy from here to basically just another way to look at it. So, um, and really any of these windows you can buy or sell from. Um, we'll do another video later on, but you can just right click, click up here and buy or sell the uh, equity or the underlying. You can choose to buy or sell it at a certain uh, price point here. Um, you can do it over here. You can do it on the chart. So really, either you got a million options for trading or for actually buying and selling uh, positions. So, um, so let's jump into what the options chains look like. I'm going to just go ahead and minimize this trade grid so it's not so cluttered. Um, and the options chain here is basically going to be here's all the expiration dates uh, upcoming for different options that's available. Um, pretty straightforward. Uh, gives you the gives you the the time frame or the date how many days it is to, and how many days right here just expiration so pretty straightforward so let's just go ahead and expand one of those this is the closest one so then here's all of the strike prices for that for apple options ending in one day so tomorrow so right here's all the strike prices and then you have the bid and the ask um along the along the top here and you can actually adjust which columns you see um, that show up here so that that would happen right through this box right here is actually to change what you can see so if we go ahead and click on that you can see there's built-in ones here or you can customize it um, let's just choose one of them here so you can, you can see all these columns change across the top to implied probability probability out of the money the delta and the bid and the ask so um, you can customize that to whatever kind of strategies you're looking for what kind of data you're looking to 
Um, you can actually change the type you're looking for too. So if you're looking to just trade, let's say calendar spreads, you can go ahead and click that. Um, and that's gonna give us a bunch of different options here. You can change it to, say you're just gonna change strangles. So here you go, it gives you a kind of what all the different strangles price points would look at as well. So let's just change it back to single. Um, also here you can see I have this set to all strike prices. If this is a little too overwhelming or a little too much information, you can just click that drop down list and actually change that to say, I just wanna see the eight closest to at the money. So I'll just show us the eight closest ones there. So um, that's basically the gist of options as well. We can go ahead and click close that. Uh, this today's option statistics, that's gonna just basically give you a quick overview of what the actual options are doing. So you can see how many how many calls have been sold or bought today, how many puts, um, the total that they've been that have happened. So uh, you can just kind of go through this and kind of give you a good overview of what the what the options are actually doing for a particular stock. Um, so that's pretty straightforward there. And now we'll jump into the options, times, and sales. So this is basically just a running ledger of option sales. So you can see there on Apple, there's quite a few option sales happening. There's multiple here happening every second and they're just posted as to how many were bought, um, the time, the market, all that fun stuff. So we can close that. And then the product depth down here kind of gives you a little more details about uh, the option specifically. As you can see, we're dealing here with option, Apple option calls and Apple option puts. Um, so there's tons of different things you can change and mess around with in here. Uh, you can go ahead and change. Right now we're looking at all expiration dates. So you can go ahead and here and say, I just want to see the ones from August. Oh, let me select all of them. I just want to see the ones from August 1. So now you just get a graph of just the most current one or just one or two or three or however many you want to say. So let's go ahead and reselect all of those. Um, and the same thing is true for strikes. So you can do all strike prices. You can just do like we did earlier, um, just the eight that are closest to at the money. So you can kind of choose that as well. Um, you can change the view if you want to just use calls or puts, uh, any of that kind of stuff, the average. Um, and then down here, you can actually show what these graphs show. So right now it's set to implied volatility, but you can change that to say volume. Um, or if you want to see probability of in the money, you can do that and gives you a nice curve for those. So, so you can change that up as well. So that's basically the gist of the trade window in terms of a great overview. Um, all these tools are pretty powerful and have tons of configuration options. So uh, go ahead and dig around with them or stay tuned for some more videos. I'm sure we'll dig into them as well. Thank you. One of the questions that we get on a daily basis is how do we find stocks to trade? To answer this question, we went ahead and made a free resource guide. The guide lists the five tools that we use every day that helps us find stocks that are in play. The guide is short, sweet, and to the point, and best of all, it's free. Go ahead and click that box, enter your email address, and we'll send it to you right away. As always, if you like this video or find it helpful, please leave us a thumbs up or a comment below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.